This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 650 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron, studio, Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA, and we got a fun one. It is the first night of Mayhem Mania, ladies and gentlemen, and we got, this is going to be a good one. Uh, we have, first of all, he's the only uh, Mayhemmer with a feature Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is in Beacon, New York, wherever the hell that is. He is mad. Mike? Sorg, I wrote this back in September. It's like a, a, a it's like a note you would have passed in school. Yes, but you it says Mayhem Mania Day One ish. I have been waiting for this. It's a paper football. You fashioned it into a football. <laughs> well, it is not Dear a real Sorg, football. Will you do me I the favor? Circle yes or no. Things. So it's very open on the back, but it looks like one from the angle I showed you. Big question hmm. for tonight. Will Mad Mike score? <laughs> Larry um, is also here's, here's here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's your intro. That, that's all I got. That's all I that's got. All I got. Also, Thank back on good night. back on the show to help us with the first round of Mayhem Mania. It is Farnsworth. He is the announcer over at the International Wrestling Cartel. Howdy, kids. Hey. And we invited him on the show because he wasn't at the show this weekend. So we are i gotta get my farm's worth it i i I appreciate the appreciation there you go uh but anyways this is your wrestling mayhem show goes to go check out everything at wrestling mayhem show.com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platforms hit us up at that email address good times good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or 412-206-WMS0 tweet us at mayhem show and also, make sure you follow our Facebook page and group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, there's a lot of great conversation and just weird stuff like Macho Man Cyclops that gets that gets um, shared in there. That was you, that was on you. Yes, Larry shared. I don't that. regret it. You don't regret it at all. Not no, absolutely. Um, also, you can and, and if you're on the Facebook page, uh, you'll get the notification when we go live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time as we record and broadcast this show. Also, uh, please uh, follow us on the Patreon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Roll back. Uh, shout out to our friends at the405media.com on the West Coast. They're carrying this show, the latest edition, at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific time uh, over there. And thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show at the fan of the show $1 level. Bo Diggity! Woo! 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 Ed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, and Tina Keys. And at the Poppy Club. Poppy Club. Poppy oh, Club. I think we just renamed it. <laughs> yes! Hi, I'm Poppy Club at the $5 yes! level. <laughs> yes. Guys, I've been listening to Poppy this week. Poppy Club uh, level, uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, and Dave Potter at the Pizza Club $10 level. Our friends at the ref- TheWrestlingRevolution.net. And you guys, again, support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. And you guys can help us keep the lights on here in the studio as well. All right. So I understand. (laughs) I understand there's a rumble happening this weekend. Um, There's going to be a rumble tonight. Let's get a rumble. rumble. That's right. Jeez. Uh, Step into the ring. There'll be no understanding. I don't know what's when happening. Is Pluto be the last man or woman standing? Okay. Do you, not, do you not remember that? No. The West Side Story Royal Rumble promo from like 2012. Oh, okay. I remember Rey Mysterio wearing a wig over his mask. Yep. <laughs> That's what I remember. Yep. I think I think during our gold break, we should show that to Larry. Do you, do you know about this, Larry? I Vaguely, I vaguely love I it. love showing you this stuff. Like last night, uh, Larry got to see on the on the wrap up um, for the first time Scott Steiner on a pogo stick. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I did. 
<laughs> yep. Uh, the I, things I never thought I would see in my life. to this or just I can't remember why I was brought up. Because because oh. my my res- awesome wrestling thing that I saw this week was a clip of Scott Steiner on ins- Instagram es- being escorted to the ring by a tiger <laughs> from WCW. I don't remember that. I don't, I, I I don't, don't doubt that it I happened. don't either, but I I was just I was just baffled seeing Scott Steiner walking a tiger to the ring in an arena full of people and children. Do you think it was his or idea? Snacks. Or do you think that like Bischoff went oh, up and like, no. we're going to have you walk a tiger to the Only ring. Bischoff no. And he was like, yeah, fuck you out. That, right. that was a coked out Scott Hall idea. <laughs> hey, yo. It's like, we're going to get a tiger, man. <laughs> we, got, we got some extra money. <laughs> We're in Vegas. As you do in Vegas, you do something with a tiger. It only makes sense. Anyways, um, geez. the Royal Rumble's in Phoenix this year. It's another big one. I think was Alamo Dome was last year, right? I'm trying to remember it. What's that? I believe so. Oh, yeah. So, so, so Rumble keeps getting bigger. It, you know, we're getting, you know, WrestleMania two, um, at this, um, and we have our two Rumbles. Uh, this is feeling like a pretty big show, Mike. It's, uh, it's pretty big. Yeah. There, there's even going to be a Royal Rumble access. Ooh. And there's also, which I'm really excited for the, um, the world's collide tournament this weekend. Explain that. Cause I'm not sure if we talked about that on the show yet. Okay. Uh, so the world's collide, I'm going to bring up the uh, list of people too. Basically it's going to be, um, and uh, stars from NXT, NXT UK, and 205 Live. And they are going to have a mini 15-man battle royal, basically. Um, and the winner of that gets a pass to the end of a tournament they're going to do. And whoever wins the, um, the single elimination tournament gets a title shot for whatever title they choose on whichever brand. Wow. Jeez. That's the most yeah. entertaining thing I've heard pitched from WWE in a while. And you said this is yeah, gonna, I'm trying to see if I can find the thing on here. And it's but... gonna be up for as a special. Like we are gonna be able to watch it. Not probably live that weekend, I don't think. But No, definitely not live that weekend. But it'll be but... up. It'll, it'll be like we will be able to see this. Which explains why all the big boys got called up from NXT. Hmm Lars Sullivan on 205 Live would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> or against the 205 Live guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, all right, hold on. I have the uh, I have the list. Cuz the guys from the guys from NXT may not necessarily be the guys that you're thinking of. Mhm. Um so the guys who are involved in this are uh Adam Cole, Bebe, Velveteen Dream, Dominic Dijakovic, uh, Dijak for those that knew him from no. Ring of Honor. Sorg. Dijakovic. I guess that, oh, that's How did they make it more complicated? I How? don't know. This... Don, Dominic Dijak is a perfectly fine name. He's going to lose that last name as soon as he gets to the main roster. We know this, right? I mean, there's no way. Yes. There's no way. Yeah. You can't. Absolutely. Nobody knows how to spell that. Um. All right. So also from NXT, Keith Lee. Okay. Who I think could win this whole thing. And Shane Thorne, the other half of the Mighty. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because Nick the Miller, that's I still think, employed. Oh, Nick the other Miller, guy's gone. His wife yeah. was having a kid, and uh, he went home to kind of like a paternal leave thing. Okay. Oh, I thought they. I had heard they had let him go. Well, he asked for his release because his wife was having a kid, and he wanted to be closer to the family. I think that makes sense. Like, I think I think it's one of those things where he'll be back at some point. But all right. Uh, so from NXT UK, we've got Mandrews. Uh, Mark Andrews, Tyler Bate, Travis Banks, Jordan Devlin, and Zach Gibson. Heavy hitters from UK up and down. Yes. And from 205 Live, uh, Cedric Alexander, Tony Nice, Drew Gulak, TJP, and Humberto, and Humberto Carrillo, who just debuted on 205 a couple weeks ago. Oh, cool. I really need to get caught up. Yeah, but uh, I can't wait to see this whole special. Are they um? Are they doing a women's tournament also? I think it's just the I men's. Don't, no, I don't believe so because okay. if you, if you look at the main roster, yeah, 
um, there's not enough women in those other brands to do like a tournament like this because some of them are going to be in the Rumble proper. <laughs> Ponder's calling for uh, Keith Lee and 205 Live piece. I'm telling you, eventually we're going to get a 405 Live. We got, wait, it's going to be great. Did you, okay, related to that, there was an announcement that I think Brandon shared on the group that uh, there's a new broadcast team member on 205 Live. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Is. Aiden English yeah. is joining them. I'm okay with that. That's not bad. That's not a bad move for him. As long as he doesn't start singing. That's the other thing, yes. Sure. He'll be a good uh, broadcaster. I think, I think it's He'll just a, a temporary broad. thing from now until WrestleMania, though. Really? Is he replacing somebody or just... just no, it... no, no, no. Uh, Drake Maverick was doing um, something to spice things up on 205 Live. In Aiden English is that thing? Sure. Okay. Aiden uh, Aiden created Rusev Day Sorg. This is true. This is true. Man's an innovator. Yes. Yes. Of the concepts. innovator of no, not silence. Um, I was trying to think of a word for songs that rhymes with violence, but the innovator of violins. Silence. No violins. Violins. He's just going with violins. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going with it. Okay. Sure. Uh, Royal Rumble. Uh, like we said, a lot, a lot of going on. I, I, I feel, you know, I don't know about how you're feeling about this fresh new attitude with WWE the last few weeks. That we've talked mm-hmm. about that at length, especially about Raw on yeah. Mondays. Um, but Raw Rump- felt fresh. Yeah, oh, SmackDown has been feeling fresh to be honest. Um, mm-hmm. While we stay away from hotels. Hotels. Um, by the way, weird thing oh, happened. Wait, even that. Even that. That is a story involving. And Uso. Right. Which is new. New matchups. An Uso and Mandy Rose. And I honestly think it was supposed to be a tie in for Temptation Island. Um, that was not It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so I'm watching on I'm watching like on a post feed, like on through through another app. So maybe I'm just not getting all of the Temptation Island um commercials for context. Uh, there's a that? lot, and Temptation Island airs right after SmackDown. Right, right, yeah, right. So, and honestly, Temptation Island, hilarious, trashy TV. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Is it is it better? Well, how do you hold it above or below Total Divas? Way above. Way above. How about with Total? Way above, but below Miz and Misses. Okay, okay. <laughs> because well, that's a good. To that's be a fair, good, uh, Miz and Misses is a half hour, and it's filled with likable people. So that's why. Show title, Innovator of Violins. Uh, anyways, it's from the chat. <laughs> um, well, who knows? We're going we're to have a lot to do this. Time. Yes, the Rumble is big. Uh, our 30 man and woman um, um, Royal Rumbles. Um, are we, uh, I, I mean, the last year, the Women's Royal Rumble was the debut. It's a little bit bigger deal, probably. Yeah. Yep. I think mm-hmm. we're just kind of getting used to like, okay, time for the women's Ro- Royal Rumble. We have two Royal Rumbles, fantastic, and yeah. And I, I just hope we, we and, and it's far enough away that hopefully we forget about the the fifty man or whatever it was that they did. Um, hopefully, no one's talking about that sort. No, no, good. Um, and hopefully we don't do that one again. Uh, no, we're going to. <laughs> we're going to. Probably in the same country. Probably. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, Probably. That trophy's got to be defended, Sork. That, the trophy, the belt, I guess. Um, yeah, all of it. We do know that all John Cena, uh, strangely, in a workout accident, will not be a part of it. In a workout Maybe. accident. In a, wait, wait, he's throwing the quotes up there. Workout accident. This feels weirdly reminiscent of that time that Hulk Hogan showed up with a black eye at WrestleMania. Well, it may also have something to do with he's supposed to start principal photography on his next movie, February 4th. Ooh, Bumblebee 2? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, I don't remember the actual name of the... Come on, Farnsworth! Let's hope it's animated. <laughs> <laughs> principal photography on the animation. Yeah. He, he's in that one with the, where he's the rope where he's like the trucker robot. On, he's, on he's, al- he's also in the Ninja Turtles. And what? he's that elephant he's, that likes pistachios. So. Yeah, he, he John Cena is Baron Draxum in the new Ninja Turtles. In the cartoon? Yes. Interesting. Um, the cartoon is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, 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 they put one episode up online for free. Yeah. 20 minutes. I couldn't get through it. I couldn't get through it. Matt Carlin's is watching. 
<laughs> yeah, that's because he's on his way. Drive safe, Matt. Yeah, drive safe, Matt. Drive safe, Matt. Don't. <laughs> we'll try not to say anything that'll make you want to pull over. Um, we do have, and I, and this is, you may notice I have decorated the set. If you're on video with us, Sasha has joined us on the set, and with the um, and just for anybody's guessing, uh, we we talked about before. Um, they, this is not a gold medal. This was something that I I, I won. And you can listen to Gold to find out what that is. Um, but Sasha Banks, Ronda Rousey, feels like it's an awesome match in the making based on what we've been seeing lately. Sasha won't let it be a not awesome match. That is true, too. That, even if it's just Sasha dying half the match, which yep. is really good at those. Um, I, I think it's going to be good. She's going to win the Raw Women's Sale with a broken freaking neck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Um, but, uh, and also, uh, Sasha, Sasha's usually like the tinier one in these matches. Like she, mm-hmm. I think she still is. She looked like she stood up pretty tall to Ronda on, on Monday night, I thought. No, I think they're about even. About even? I think they're yeah. about even. So, um, I don't know. Uh, Farnsworth, have you been kind of keeping an eye on it, Rousey and, and, and ha- how are you oh. impressed by her matches so far? I... I think it's unfair to judge Ronda Rousey where she's at right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Partially because. She's only been doing it a year. If that, honestly, she should be in NXT learning the ropes. Mm -hmm. She should be learning the ins and out of the outs of the business. I think for where she is, she's doing great. It's just, that's she's not very far along yeah. this road. So I'm not really, I can't say I'm impressed with the matches. I'm impressed with that. They've gotten as good of a match as they have mm-hmm. out of someone as inexperienced as she is. I think she could be phenomenal if you gave her the right time, but mm-hmm. they didn't want to drop the money on Rousey and then slow burn and yeah. have her learn the craft. Um, Kurt Angle, well, Kurt Angle probably wasn't coming off as hot a thing as Ronda Rousey as, you know, female UFC, you know, money, right? Mm-hmm. And even he was a couple of years after that before he finally debuted and decided to do this and everything. I think even he spent time in OVW. Oh, Kurt trained a lot. Yeah, he trained. I know. Kurt trained a lot. There Kurt are, did. we'll say there are several schools in the area that claim they have had a part in training him yeah, in like, Pittsburgh. Like Kurt, Kurt was a finished product when he debuted in oh, yeah. 99. He was a finished product. I he mean, said he was training with uh, Edge and Christian in the Hardys when they came up yeah, in, yeah. in the he, training. And he trained with Dory. Dory so, Funk. Yeah. I mean, I've seen pictures of him and, uh, him and Christopher Daniels back when he still had hair. Whoa. So, I've never seen it. Oh, I'll have to show you that. That'll be weird. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, it's weird. I need to show you this picture of this one of this one training class. That is uh, Christopher Daniels with hair. I think Kazarian is in it. Samoa Joe, John Cena, and probably a couple others. Was that when uh, Samoa Joe had the bleach blonde spikes? Oh, yeah, probably around that era. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Frosted tips to Mojo. There was a lot of unfortunate hairdos in that <laughs> FTSJ. picture. FTSJ. It, uh, it was like the, the is it UCW? Because they had that yeah. Learn How to Be a Pro Wrestler videotape series that was out, or, out and about. I feel like all of it can be blamed on Scotty Too Hotty. Mm, I'm blaming you. Can, no, I'm blaming I, I think it's okay. more Bart Simpson. Okay. It's, no, I think you can just blame Smash, SoCal Smash in the Mouth. 90s. Smash, Smash Mouth. Mouth. Oh, no, no. We'll the, Smash, no, Mouth. Oh, Smash Mouth. Yeah. We'll blame Smash, Smash Mouth. Mouth. Smash Mouth and Guy Fieri. Um, Guy Fieri wasn't a <laughs> thing. He was a byproduct. He was, he was a product He was that. a byproduct of a Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah. No, Guy Fieri was the all-star they were thinking about, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. That's what he was singing into himself go, every go time. Go to Diners, dive in the drives. <laughs> Welcome to Boom. Welcome to Flavor Town. What is happening? <laughs> Guys, there's a lot going on. Theories. You can everyone makes these <laughs> jokes, but can we throw can we also say that we've never seen a Shaggy Two Dope in the same room with him? With Guy Fieri? And no, no, the you guy mean, from Smash Mouth. Violent J. Or am I or am I thinking the joke, Violent J? The joke I, is saw, J. I saw that I saw that be, uh meme yes Is, okay there's an actual meme of that Have yes you seen that? no no somebody did somebody did a meme of uh all three of those people did they get the name right when they did it yeah probably <laughs> okay. i think they did yeah yeah shaggy dude dope hasn't had hair for like 15 years um 
He's coming to Pittsburgh on solo tour. Uh, th- there's no reason I'm mentioning this. But anyways, there's a lot happening in pro wrestling. We talked a lot about what happened in pro wrestling here in the Pittsburgh area this past weekend. Because a certain person we just talked about, Kurt Angle, was just at a show. IWC's Reloaded 5.0. And you can go check that out as well over at IndieWrestling.network. A lot of great stuff there. Not only can you check out Indie Re- uh, IWC's uh, uh, Reloaded 5.0 and everything happened there, including the surprise appearance of the Hurricane coming through. But you can also check out uh, the Uprise program from uh, uh, Friday with Rise and a bunch of new wrestlers. Check out check out Max. Max is uh, Max is a, a, a women's wrestler who is freaking awesome. Um, there's some great gifts of that spear she delivered. I think you can hear me vocally gasp when it happens on the show. Um, all this is a part of Indie Wrestling dot network. Five ninety nine seven day uh, free trial uh, to go check this out. Tons of content over seventy hours. It'll play on uh, TV through most of your devices like Chromecast and uh, Roku devices, and uh, I say plenty, plenty of promotions from West Virginia, Pittsburgh area, Cleveland, including exclusively Uprise and Two PW uh, upstarts from the last couple of months that are on here. Breakfast with Champions, Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories. They, they, let's wait till you see these next episodes, guys. Um, they, they, okay, so remember they wanted like 200 subscribers and they'll, they'll we'll try to book Bullet, Gilla, uh, McGillicuddy. Um, they have like different level of, levels of it now. <laughs> so, wait, I thought it was Kimona Wanalea. Uh, Kimona, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. How many subscribers do we need to get Beulah? Uh, t- 200. 200. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Um, they, Beulah might be a little bit easier to get. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe we'll find out sooner or later, too. So go check it out, www.indywrestling.new.network. Go check out all that stuff and the newest releases from IWC Rise with a Y and the RWA uh, come on there a day and date with the VOD releases as well. Start your free trial now, indywrestling.network. Okay, uh, back to the Royal Rumble. Uh, so... Are... <sighs> We're doing Finn and, Finn and Brock. Yep. Oh boy. I it, it on I'm excited going into this, but I'm really concerned this is going to turn into Brock Lesnar Bob Holly. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you maybe you don't remember that. No. It was we we built up a Brock was the what WWE champion at the time, <sighs> right? And we built up for uh legit in an early match. Hardcore Holly was dropped on his head and, and hurt his neck by oh. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. So they built it up as uh, Holly is back and he's coming for Brock. And they basically just squashed out Hardcore Holly. And, you know, back when, like, the championship matches were really just placeholders on the Royal Rumble. We always told the Royal Rumble yeah. was the big deal and everything. So I, I, I'm hoping we do more than that here. If If he comes out as regular smiley happy leather jacket oh we're done no no we're We're, done we're all fucked i don't know because the only reason i think it's going to be it's going to be safe is because of how well brock did with daniel bryan but but daniel bryan doesn't have an alter ego that can murder fuck kill anyone (laughs) well he does now but yeah he does no but even then that didn't like that wasn't established like if Finn Balor doesn't get the demon up for Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor as the character is fucking moronic. I think we got to check our phrasing on that. Um, no, it's like hulking up. It's demoning up, brother. Except hulking up had an actual viable benefit. Uh, the demon ben- undefeated. Demon consistently shows up and maybe he wins, maybe he doesn't, but I don't feel that the demon has added anything to, to Finn Balor. That's I think they, they haven't used it. But yeah, but they haven't used it, which has therefore like he shows up and he's the demon and great, and then the next time he's not and it doesn't matter. You know I don't think I don't think he's lost too many matches. In as the demon, no, he has only lost one as the demon, and that was his NXT send off. If they're in a if, cage match, the demon has never been pinned, the demon has never been tapped out. I don't think if they're gonna do the demon character, 
for this match. I want to see them bring it back the way um, Mick Foley brought back Cactus Jack against Triple H. Yep. You know what I mean? Okay. Where it actually mattered. Okay. And wasn't just like a one-off thing. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, let him run with it for a little bit. Well, no, you can't. You can't have him be the demon every week. Why not? No, no. For, no it's, why would I'm not? You? I'm not saying do. I'm not saying do it for th- three months until WrestleMania. But why not? Why not run for it? Run with it while he has like a, a grudge or something. You know, because it, it would lose. Because because after this, if he loses the Brock, it's done. Mm-hmm. There's no grudge. Mm-hmm. He's just the guy that had the belt for a night. Yeah. Like he still. Yeah. I mean, he still has that chip on his shoulder. And you know, did they did they have a match otherwise? No. I thought no. they did at some point. No. no, they never had a match. They were supposed to. Oh no, who is Finn supposed to face? Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. That's right. Right. Okay. Now AJ yeah. Styles came AJ, in and they did a match there. That's right. I, yeah. I forgot that. Gender, and gender, Demon Bauer gender won that match too. Lesnar. What's that? And Demon won that match. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, it'll be it's interesting to see what they have there. I mean, I, we're going to know as soon as he comes out with or without Paige, I think. So. Did you um, see that belly to belly yeah. that he did last night? No. <laughs> no, I didn't catch it. To, to, to the Braun? Braun, Braun like, basically like, grabbed Finn and like threw him over the top rope. Mm-hmm. And Brock caught him face to face. Oh, yeah. I oh, did see that. suplexed him on the outside. Oof. It was nasty. Yeah, going to be some fun stuff they do in that <coughs> match, for sure. So. Um, what else is uh, coming out at, uh, I guess, Royal Rumble? I mean, what? I guess generally we can go around the horn. Um, we'll, we'll do some other stuff. And I know you guys have your Mayhem Mania picks in for Royal Rumble. I want to I wanna wait to see what Matt wants to do with those. I think we're going to keep them under our hat until, like, post-Royal Rumble, probably, to see who won and what some of the I think he's just going to tabulate them afterwards. Yeah, we're just going to tabulate and see where they're at and see, yeah. see who gets in the Because I immediately there. regret my picks. <laughs> they're there in email. They're oh, there in print in email. Solidified. As soon as I sent them, I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. So we really could. I don't. I, I can't see that they're shaping anybody up to be a favorite at Royal Rumble um, this year. Seth. 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 Okay. Seth Rollins. Mike is seen through the tea leaves better than I am here. Um, Sorry, he, he lost the IC title. He lost both rematches. That's a setup. He's like, I'm going to do this for Roman, guys. He was quoting Martin Luther King last night. Um, Why? Are you, but who uh, was he? Quoting Martin Luther King. Last? But like everybody, like every. I don't know if they're the guys that should have been quoting them, but there were no, there was definitely not. No, no. Um, but yeah, it's very possible. So I, it'll be interesting to see what happens with. Her. I mean, is there anybody that's kind of sticking out to you that you want to? Like, I guess what is? Who is your dark horse? Who would you like to see pop oh. out and and get? I, I like the idea, and I think most of us, and that's why we like the Rumble, is somebody could come. In my mind, Bushwhacker Luke could have won the 1991 B- Royal Rumble. Okay, guys? <laughs> like, it could have happened. It's Everybody has a little bit of a chance that goes in there. Is there anybody that you guys are seeing that you'd like to see pop up on that? Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins, right there. Right out of the gate. By the All way, right. Major Brothers Reunion was the best thing so, last night. Someone I'd like to see? Mm-hmm. From Raw, Elias. Elias, I'd love to see Elias too. I That's... said Elias last year too. It's I'm gonna say it every year until it happens. He could come out of nowhere. From, this one from SmackDown, Mustafa Ali. Give it to him. Wow. Yeah. Give it to him. Have him come in as number two. Have Jeez. him come in as number two. Oh my god. Jeez. Yeah. Give him the give him the literal Rey Mysterio push oh. without the nece- the necessity of having someone die. Farnsworth, what about you? I'm not sure who's in, who's not. Um, I just presume everybody's in. You want me to, I mean, you want me to fantasy book it, Bray Wyatt shows back up and wins Ooh. it. I think it's possible. Ooh. I think too. He's cleared, isn't he? Uh, oh, I don't know. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's cleared. Yeah. I think the only one who's not cleared right now is Kevin Owens. And John Cena. And John Cena. I thought, mm, I thought there was rumbles about Owens coming back oh, too. They said Owens wasn't going to be cleared until after Mania. Ah. No, no. His, his Twitter says soon question mark. Mm-hmm. I never, I don't believe anything on the internet about Kevin Owens until I see it in person. Okay. 
Okay. You just believed his Twitter. That's not in person. I'd like to see. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. I'm he has saying... a very valid point. <laughs> they, anou- they announced he was coming. They announced he was coming back in Jan- like in the beginning of January. That's they great. did. They did. Put yeah, that they had that. Yeah, wait, they had for, promos for both him for and Owen Sammy. Ben You're right. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah, right. and there, where are they? So in, I, in may, Quebec. I think they. Yes. No, I'm sure they moved to Florida by now. Um, Ooh, Alex, good one. Was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. From the chat, this this should have been a big question. Uh, <laughs> from the chat, like their dark horses. Uh, Ty Cross says, uh, "Dark horse, if it isn't RC Dupree, is Miz." Um, there you go. Don't sleep on RC. I wish. I wish Miz. Mm-hmm. Alex, he's, he's gonna be tagging the machine. So. Alex Carr said, uh, "Zach Ryder." Uh, Alex said, "Kenny Omega." Tina says, "Drew McIntyre." Uh, also, Drew Alex McIntyre. Is, yeah. Alex is letting me know that print is dead. Uh, I heard that in a movie once. As our old media friend walks into the uh, studio, is print dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, he said yeah. Uh, uh, Alex Miller says Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Tina's saying seeing uh, fav- favorite um, um, Drew McIntyre, Dark Horse, Sammy or Kevin, Sammy yeah. and Kevin. Co Rumble winners. Hey, no, if we're doing co Rumble winners, it's got to be the iconics. True, true. Uh, <laughs> Alex <laughs> like, says, like, they just hug each other and jump out at the same time. Alex says, Kenny Omega. It could happen. Do we see it? It's, it, it, it's, it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. It I don't could think it's going to happen. happen, but it could fucking happen. Anything can happen. Happens. But uh, I don't think it's happening. Anything's it, possible with Nestle Quick. I could see them hiring him for one night. Mm hmm. Very possible. Um, you don't have headphones, Matt. We don't have them set up for you because we have you slated for second half. Uh, so it'll give us a moment. That's okay. That. Hold on, hold on. Well, at least you just won't be able to hear Mike's uh, retorts. Uh, what's your kind of dark horse for the Rumble? I don't even have a camera for you yet. My dark horse? Your dark horse for the Rumble. <sighs> Men's Rumble. We'll do a women's Rumble. You know, if, if I'm thinking dark horse because I can't figure out who's getting lined up for the SmackDown side. So my dark horse would be Samoa Joe. Ooh, Ooh. I like it. That was the that was the other one I was thinking of bringing up. Just Samoa Joe, just laying waste to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would especially be good considering Samoa Joe's never had a WrestleMania match. Yeah, oh <laughs> no yeah, no kidding. Yeah, he got injured last year. And he, well, year he never had a Royal Rumble match. So, and there he's been. Yeah, he's been doing good with that. <laughs> Women's Rumble, our truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Number thirty. I still, I, I think R Truth is gonna come out at thirty, but he's never gonna make it into the men's rumble. Mm. He's, he's gonna be taken out by Braun Strowman. Okay, okay. God, I don't want him to win. What about you, Matt? I was just thinking about how, like, what are the odds that R Truth comes out at number thirty in the women's Royal Rumble? Like ninety nine percent. It's R Truth that comes strolling even out, if, if, and then Carmella stops him. Yeah, like even, that definitely even happens, if right? That, at the bare minimum, that happens. Yeah, that that like, like ninety nine point nine percent chance R Truth yeah. comes out number thirty in the women's. Rumble. I'd just say it's a hundred percent. I would just say it's a hundred percent. Like seriously, the, the, if if we don't do that. What the fuck has been this entire point? <laughs> I'm with Bobby. I'm going with uh, uh, Ember Moon for the Women's Rumble. Could be the one to go. Uh, I want Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot. Ruby or Nikki. I'm okay with either Nikki of those. Cross. Wow. Yeah. I can't imagine them doing it that soon, but. Uh, yeah. Nikki versus Asuka. True Boy, Dark Horse. Fighting. You know what? I'll go True Dark Horse. Let's give it to Sarah Logan. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's make okay. it happen. Give me, give me, give me old crazy Mary and uh, and uh, Ronda Rousey or Sasha Banks at, at WrestleMania. I'm down. That works for me. I think she should have some fun with that. Uh, she goes like full Viking by then. It'd make a great WrestleMania. Entrance. It, it would like super Viking, like like super, uh, like uh, just Viking ship that thing right down the Ray Row. Like, like think Rusev on a tank, right down the Hudson. Except right. oh, on yeah. a Viking ship. Yeah, Viking ship. Have it piloted down. by Sully. With like thirty <laughs> developmental guys rowing, she's on a pedestal with a row accompanying her. Yeah, I don't know about good that. stuff. What row? But row. <laughs> Get it, row. I got gotcha. you. Oh, um, Podner says it's Abella. Mm. No, cars no, is they going. Is that too much last year? Definitely not. Cars is going for Karma. 
Oh, uh, that was going to be my pick. <laughs> Alex Miller for Damn Liv it. Morgan. I don't know. Karma's too busy with the Glow series. Um, Not right now. Ponder, Ponder says that they have an article on the website about Nikki Bella training MMA. Yeah. <laughs> too late. Wait, too late. Too late. Too she late. had the match with the MMA girl. You got your ass kicked by she Ronda Rousey. Kicked by really Ronda. Like, I'm going to go do some MMA training. Too hey, late. Hey, MMA's pretty swell. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get punched in the face again. Jeez. <laughs> Welcome to Total Bella Season 4. I mean, what are they at with that? Is it 3? I think, they're, I think they're on Season 4. But honestly, it. if they had a season of Nikki Bella just getting punched in the face, I would watch <laughs> it. So. That's it's ratings. Jeez. Do you think Vince McMahon watches Total Divas? No. Do you think he knows what's happening I don't, over there? Vince doesn't watch SmackDown. I don't think Vince has cable. Vince was on SmackDown. Yeah, he, but it doesn't mean that he's doesn't watching. mean he watches this. <laughs> you just say you don't think Vince has cable? No, I don't think he has cable. <laughs> you know, I don't think he would. I don't think he would because no. he's like, why would he no. watch anything other than his own product? No, I don't <laughs> even think he watches that. <laughs> no. You think he knows what happens at NXT? No. You think the, no. Ooh, ooh. no. You think no. he knows? You think he's if watched? If you the, put five guys in a lineup, he couldn't tell you who was signed and who wasn't. <laughs> you know, I mean, as, spoiler as, alert: all five guys. To be. Signed. I, I want to point out, like, we really, like, people get down on, on Vince McMahon for, like, how much he doesn't know happens in his own company. In most cases, like, your CEO of a company doesn't know that all their employees in town signed, right? So, Vince McMahon is not most cases. No, he is very hands-on. That he does what he does he is amazing for a man in his position. Vince loves Shakara. <laughs> Kaiju big battle. No, Damn it! How do these ants? Bro, how do we get these ants? He's a big uh, fan of Doctor Cube. How do we get that Doctor Cube? <laughs> what was Vince that, Mike? Loves, Vince loves Lucha Vavoom. Lucha Vavoom. Oh, jeez. He may have not seen it game. yet, but he would love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Why haven't we signed them? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Vince watches being the elite. Vince watches New <laughs> Japan. Nikki Bella versus Chris Cyborg. <laughs> Vince is still watching replays of TNA from oh, Spike TV. Bella Tour. So good. Oh, no. oh, that's good. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show title Vince Love Chigara. Um <laughs> anything else Make sure we tag him on it when we do that. How because I didn't Why are they I, saying holy poop, pal. I literally couldn't watch past the uh, hotel segment on SmackDown last week. How in the world? Well, literally, like the sound stopped working on what I was watching it on. I would legitimate means, but it was yeah. Um, so I didn't I didn't finish. I, I planned to like maybe tonight during editing or something. How did we get Miz and Shane in a title match? Uh, Sword, he's a McMahon. He better come out in the Miz thing that was drawn oh, up. Oh, he's for going him. to. It needs to happen. Which he's going to. That's all a smoke screen because the Miz is coming out dressed like Shane. <laughs> they're they're gonna screw up and dress <laughs> as each other. Mm, so the Miz gonna wear ill-fitting windbreakers and yes, and ill-fitting. Pants. I thought you were gonna. I thought you. Were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Matt can't hear Mike. <laughs> so, Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. We'll fix that. If the Miz has his own personalized Jordans, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be good. Personalized Jordans for the Miz. Um. <laughs> Um, although, okay, this has been pointed out to me in the chat room. Uh, uh, Tina says, uh, it makes sense because Quack, uh, Mike Quackenbush of Chikara has been a guest trainer at the uh, Performance Center. That is true. Confirmed. Yep. Uh, there you go. There you go. Has also, Vince been to the Performance Center, though? How many former Chikara... No, no, no. no. Uh, how many former Chikara wrestlers are now in the WWE? <laughs> Where they, what was that match they pulled up? It was, uh, it was Cesaro and... Uh, Oh, Nigel McGuinness and Cesaro in IWC in like 2003. Oh, you can barely the recognize them. I still, I still need to watch that yeah. Nigel documentary. Oh, watch the. Oh, dude, it, who's watched the Nigel I, I, documentary? I need to watch that. Uh, Matt Carlin has watched the Nigel documentary. What'd you think of that? Gut wrenching. Gut wrenching. That's like, probably just, gonna be my pregame for the just, Rumble. I I just want to find Nigel and give him a hug. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, Matt, Mike, can you give Nigel a hug for us? You're I can, I certainly can. You're closer to you're closer to him geographically than we are. Jen Carlin wants to know yep. what her husband has on his head. On his head? What's on your head, Matt? Yeah, what's on your hair? He has hair. I don't. It's hair, Jen. 
He's not even on his hair. He's not even on camera. How does she Long, flowing, luxurious hair. What is she looking at? Is she looking at my security camera? She looking at... I don't know. Is she outside the window? No, I don't think so. No? No? Okay. I don't think she followed me. Surprise! (laughs) (laughs) It's been far... It was Farnsworth the whole time! (laughs) (laughs) What? Whoa. And I would have got away with it too if it weren't for your ki- you kids and your snooping dog. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know uh, where are we uh, where are we at here. Where are we at? Anything else, Rumble wise? Daniel AJ again. I, I haven't been. Hey, I, I got a good question. Yeah, go ahead. Re- regarding the Rumble, because uh, I had a tough time cracking this nut too. Who do you think is going to be like the Iron Woman in the women's Rumble match? The Iron Woman. Yeah, that was one of the. Because you don't have Sasha in the like Sasha was like Bailey. an obvious was last kind year. Of thing. So Bailey? who Bailey? It's yeah, gotta be Bailey. Sasha could be in it. Yeah. Either Bailey Still, or Charlotte. By the way, Bailey or Charlotte. But Charlotte's in a title match too. No, she's no. not. No, Charlotte's Wait, not. A Becky title and Oscar. Oh shoot, I forgot and about just that. Just because yeah. you're in a title match does not mean you're not in the Rumble. Kind of depends on how you order and what. Just story don't like. think that like since Charlotte's kind of like the heel, it wouldn't make sense for her to. Do that. Not that WWE does things that make sense, but it would not make as much sense for her to be. That's got to be Bailey. the Iron Woman. I, I feel like that's where. Like, so like Bailey or Natty? Maybe. Yeah, maybe not Natty. Uh, Natty's I'm just thinking like who's the person that three, they kind of like have me guys. like you. Well, go hold this thing together, you know. Yeah, uh, you know what? I could see a dark horse Iron Woman. Being, dark horse Iron Woman. Who's the dark horse Iron being, Woman? Being uh, Ember Moon. There you go. Yeah. she could hold it together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they'll be like the kind of the hey, she can, yeah. Yeah, hey exactly. guys, she can, can have a really because that's like match. part of the role. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I could see I her. That's why like Chris Jericho has like eighteen hours in the Royal Rumble match in yeah. his career. Uh, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, I think I had Bailey as my Iron Woman for the Rumble, but oh, Tina, so I could name. see Charlotte coming out as number three, just like her dad, mm. and being the Iron Woman with a tear in my. That would be great if we just re You can see it, and Charlie Caruso is saying, "Put that cigarette out." Yeah, <laughs> let's just go for it. Let's just do it. Oh boy, um, <laughs> I didn't know she posted that. Uh, Fickle, Potter. Yeah, Potter. Potter going. <laughs> I didn't Larry, see that. Larry, Larry commenting from Tina. Fickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go recycle some stuff. I'll be back later. Maybe we start with um, number one and number two are members of of uh, Riot Squad. Yeah, like old. What was it? Was it um, Demolition? They did that with. You know, it'd be really great. We'll have up both first... iconics. Yeah, if the iconics. Two. Yeah. <laughs> what if the first four on, entries were the four horsewomen? The first four were for four horsewomen. Hmm. Hmm. Secondary. Just imagine. Just imagine that. That'd secondary Iron Woman choice. Um. I would go with Baszler. Yeah. Oh. oh no. I think you throw Baszler in there. I don't think she's got the stamina to go. I anymore. like her as a surprise, but I'm not sure if. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Or a Kyrie Sane or something. Oh man, Kyrie. Kyrie, I think is more Kyrie. likely. But <laughs> I'm getting the I'm getting the salute. I'm getting all the hand movements from Matt over there off camera. So, <laughs> all right on. Well, there's a lot of Royal Rumble. We'll be here and, of course, TakeOver. But I don't think a lot of us are caught up on TakeOver. We just know. I mean, you just show up. You know you're in for a good time. Yep. TakeOver is going to be a really good show. Yeah. I mean, it's just it just always is. It's, let's be honest uh, about this. Johnny Gargano versus Ricochet. Jeez. What more do you need to know? Jeez. Yeah. I, I don't need to know a story. I'll watch the package. We'll go into it. Like, that, that's fine. And it's like the top of the it's, it's the top of the page. Not Champa, not Champa in in, uh, in uh, 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 Alex, uh, Alistair Black, which apparently they're still solidifying that match. Is that what I'm seeing? Um, no, it's it's confirmed. No, it's yeah. Birch and Lorcan. Oh, well, this, is this just a random tag team match? Birch, Birch and Lorcan versus Barthel and Eichner. That is Bartel. Uh, Bartel. I'm sorry. Mark Markel Bartel. Where am I at? Marcelo oh, this Marcelo. is for the show. This is for yeah, the you're series. Just, you're just looking at the show. This isn't sorry. even the takeover bit. Okay, there's the sure, takeover. Do you want matches. me to just tell you the takeover card? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just run it down real quick. Okay, we got uh, your NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa, going up against Aleister Black okay. uh, for the title, obviously. You got, for the North American title, Ricochet, the champion, going against Johnny 
the bee's knees, the heels, pajamas, Gargano. Say the heels, um, pajamas. The heels, pajamas. Okay, because that's what he that's what he is now. Okay, he, okay. He is Johnny winning. He is Johnny Takeover. Johnny Takeover. Yep. Uh, you got for the women's title, Shayna Baszler versus undefeated Bianca Belair. You have to say it like that, otherwise she will whip you with her hair. Um, you have the War Raiders, friend of the show Ray Rowe, like mm. up against the Undisputed Era. And if he wins, I need a partner. <laughs> I'll do it. I need a you partner. Do I'll do it, but we're going to get disqualified. Weekend. WrestleMania weekend, challenging him in an NXT tag title match. Road trip. He owes Road me. trip. He owes me. And also we have uh, Cassius Ono versus Matt Riddle, number three, which doesn't hold a lot of significance because Matt Riddle won both times before. But yeah, yeah sure. It'll, it'll be, be fine. good. It'll be good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be just It'll be just fine. You know what? It was also just fine, ladies and gentlemen. Our good friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza right up the street here on the Broadway in the Beach View in the Pittsburgh. And also their other locations, Carnegie, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, our good buddies over there. Um, I, I told him last week that uh, about how Beastman has won the Fight Society Championship, and now they want pictures with Beastman in the belt. So we're gonna see if we can get that happening next week when uh, <laughs> we get uh, Beastman in here for the show once again. Your buddy, your buddy Larry. What? Your buddy the Beastman. My buddy. Your buddy the Beastman. Why is Beastman my buddy? Because I don't know. You guys like shared a moment the first show. No, he tried to hit me with a bone. Yeah, that's a moment. Okay. That's a moment. That's a moment. That's a good moment. It's not my uh, well, anyways, you have a complicated relationships with pro wrestlers. No, just Ray Rowe. Oh, okay. Go check them out, <laughs> SliceOnBroadway.com. And again, as our as this show's endeavor for uh, Slice on Broadway, who's grown from one to four locations since they started advertising on this show, Mayhem Bump, they uh, uh, if, if, if we want to help that. And if you have a Broadway Avenue in your town, wherever that might be in the United States, please take a picture of it. Hit them up at slice at pgh underscore slice on the Twitter and ask, can you put a slice on my Broadway? Go check it out, sliceonbroadway.com. Thank you so much to those guys for supporting the show with some great pizza that Matt Carlin's is eating right now. He like went up and got a slice. Did I just remind Thanks you that? Reminding was- me. <laughs> we will be back after this message with a big question and the first edition of the year. Of mayhem, mayhem. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it is Mayhem Mania season, and, and it's been so long, and I've blocked out so much of the emotional scars from last year that I forgot that we canceled the uh, big question during Mayhem Mania. Because, I mean, if anything's a big question, it's what is your match for Mayhem Mania <laughs> That is the every big week. question for the next what, two what's months. Your what's your match? What's your Mayhem move? Mania. Yeah. Mainstream Matt is with us. He is a pri- pri- proprietor. Proprietor? Sure. He has pizza. He's good. You gotta, gotta buy that Owner and hat. operator. Owner and operator of Mayhem Mania. <laughs> master of ceremonies. Uh, master of ceremonies for Mayhem Mania. Your party host. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, so, and we have a, uh, a, of course, with us still, we have, uh, Larry, we have Farnsworth with us, announcer over at IWC. You can hear his voice on most IWC clips. Why are you like mouthing stuff right now? It's an audio podcast. Did you just go Trevor Noah on us? I Does Larry have to uh, speak for you now? I, I did it because I found it amusing. Uh, Hi, so. Farnsworth, pick bark gun. <laughs> <laughs> also with us on the line, of course, Mad Mike up there in Beacon, New York. He's got yeah. a piece of paper with his life on it. Also with us from Cali and OccupyProWrestling.com. I'm just going to use this as your ad for this week. Uh, is Alexander Carr is joining us. I'm Alex. Hi. Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> At Mayhem. <laughs> Ooh. God damn it, Art. Oh, fuck. And I'm sorry. Oh. What the fuck just yeah. happened? Because <laughs> I don't YouTube see the video feed. I'm just hearing noises. I have to think so. <laughs> 
Goodies. Also with us. Com Did you say poppy. anything about being bloody yet? <laughs> All right. Wait, can we book Poppy and Mayhem Mania? Oh, I mean, man. Oh. How good was that? Yeah, she was I want to remind you about past backlash against using too many celebs. That's right. That's right. Um, Give it to me, Mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> and also with us wondering why the hell he was here right now is Ty Cross of System Elite Ooh. Pro Wrestler. Ooh. I'm here. Woo. You know, quit quit with the who. You know who I am. I, I love danger. he's in the chat room like, <laughs> I'll come on. And and most everybody that was asking knew what they were getting into. Ty has no idea what's about to happen. He just wanted on the show. He's just, he's just what, clamoring to get on the show again. Crack, and he's like, I, I got to get through this door. I iTunes agreement, Soren. <laughs> I just sign it. He just sign it. He just clicked through the TOS, and he's here with us. And we'll see how that goes. So, okay, so... <laughs> this isn't a long-term investment, is it? Um, well, only uh, it for depends the re- if you get the <laughs> Alex Cars roll tagged onto your match. That could last for a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good news. Good news. This may lead to several appearances on this show in the next couple months. I'm just uh, saying. That's all, that's, all <laughs> that's all I want. Every Tuesday well, for the next you three you months. Fucking good. Yeah, right. Ty, I'm sorry that your match was so terrible last week. You got to come back. We didn't make it again. All right, all right. All right. All right. Changing his Let's clear the floor. Let's clear the floor. Uh, is time for uh, mainstream matt to um <laughs> tell us the most sacred of the rules and concept he has a box of tissues because between sweat and tears he's gonna need it um <laughs> what is mayhem mania for the first timers like 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 poor ty cross all right i'm gonna it's always works better if i see somebody who i'm not sure if you know all the rules farnsworth so i'm gonna try to address you but don't feel like i'm putting too much pressure on you but it helps to explain to someone who maybe doesn't know so mayhem mania is kind of like a competitive thought experiment where our goal is to create the best wrestlemania card possible within the bounds of the current reality that we live in so this is not fantasy booking this is reality booking we have to play under the same rules that vince mcmahon has to play under so you can't pull guys who are assigned to other organizations or who are hurt or injured or not cleared larry um it's not proven y- you can't you <laughs> can't break those boundaries you have to play by vince's rules you are vince mcmahon with unlimited resources and zero self-control so so basically so vince you are vince mcmahon yeah. um <laughs> That joke's been going for about two years now. Every time. Every time. (laughs) Every day. And so, I mean, the bottom line on this thing is that, okay, we understand that right now, WWE's talent roster is the deepest, most talented, most unbelievable roster of talent ever assembled under God's hot sun. So this should mean we're going to get the greatest WrestleMania of all time, right? But are we? No. We're going to get to get something else. Um, so this is kind of us putting our foot down and being like, look, Vince, you're, you're falling way short. This is what you could be doing. This is what you should be doing. So uh, basically, we are totally letting it fly. And basically, uh, we are going to make the best Mania matches humanly possible. Um, does that make any sense? Absolutely. Great. I'm right here with so you. you. I mean, it could be one-on-one. You could do a triple threat. You could do a tag match. Let your imagination flow. Some people let it go a little bit too far. The boundaries of what is allowed, the envelope can be pushed in certain directions. Um, Obviously, everything within Raw, SmackDown, NXT, UK, God knows who's hidden away, tucked away in the developmental system, Sorg. And then you've got, you know, whatever alumni, whatever. I mean, use your imagination. But be advised, if you use it too much, if you overuse your imagination, someone might push back, and uh, we might have to get a ruling on that. It's happened once or twice, but usually everyone keeps it in balance. Right, Sorg? Right. All right. So Sorry, I was contemplating my match. That's what that sh- staring off in the space was. So we need to make eight matches mm-hmm. from scratch. Um, so that's the first step. Uh, and we'll explain what comes next week after the fact, because that just will muddy the waters. Um, we're going to have eight matches. Uh, during the break, I randomly selected numbers for everyone. And as luck would have it, Sorg, I'm going to get to make the first match. How convenient. How convenient for me. So number one will Fickle. be me. Number two will be Sorg. Oh, no. Number three will be Ty. Number four will be Farnsworth. Number five will be Alex. Number six will be Missy. Eight. Number seven will be Mad Mike. And number eight will be Larry. I think this is biased for the this part, is, guys. This all is selected at random. I was not able to pick my own number. I'm being punished. No, for you were not. Now, 
I wanted to tell you that um, before we go on, um, I was threatening to make just a just a rocket buster of a match in the first round of Mayhem Mania, but I was not anticipating that I was going to go very first. Uh, so I don't want to drop the mic on anyone just yet. So I'm going to go to my my not my one B, but my one C. This kind of came to me in kind of a fever dream a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to make a triple threat match for my match. I'm going to make a triple threat match, big hoss power match here, Sorgi. You ready for this? All right, Braun Strowman. Versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro. Strong men lifting each other up, throwing each other around. You got to have Strowman in there so uh, Bate can do the airplane spin with him, right? So that's my match right there. What, what was it? Matt Braun Strowman. One person from each of the two matches I wrote down. Thank you very much. <laughs> versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro. Strong boys. Wow. Again, this was not going to be my the match I was going to make your originally. C. That is your third. This is my one C. Now I'll reveal my one A. On talking mayhem mania, uh, coming up um, wherever you get finer YouTube content from the Wrestling Mayhem. That'll be on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube page. Yeah, you got to go check that out. Yes. This week's guest is Larry. (laughs) Sorg, you're up. All right, Ty, you're on deck. I was thinking about it, and 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 I am partial. I gotta make sure my boy Elias is in the in the mayhem in mania. Has to be more we than just a Elias. number, and we walk with Elias straight to <laughs> WrestleMania. And I was thinking, well, who, who on that big stage? What other performer on that big stage is gonna pull off something great with who Elias? Who can match his star power? Who can yeah, who can match his star power? Yeah, and I think it's somebody who has been very vocal lately about his value and where he is currently. Ooh, and I think that person is obviously Velveteen Dream. Nice. So it is Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. Yes, I love it. Yes, that's pretty good. Actually, that's right. Oh oh, no! Oh no! I'm getting middle fingers from Larry right now. All right. So we have already pissed off Mad Mike. We have pissed off Larry. Farnsworth. This is how the game is played. By the way, this is how we do it. Friendships are ended in this game. Okay. So there, it can. It doesn't have. It can be silly. It can be pure, legitimate wrestling. It could be whatever we think the best possible matchup could be for WrestleMania. You just got to do what out the window, just what you think is the best match for WrestleMania. Ty, just do what feels right. We are not trying to predict what they're going to do. We're just doing what we're going to do, and we're going to make it the best we well, can make I it. Got, I've got two. One is the main roster makes sense, and one is just like something I think I think people would really get behind. I think so, you should do the one that people get behind. I'm going to do the second one. I think a, an awesome WrestleMania match would be Pete Dunne versus Drew McIntyre. Dig it. You got it. Just no silliness, straight wrestling. No, wait, I Matt, didn't you use Pete Dunn? Nope, no. I did not. No, Tyler, he has bait. Tyler, Tyler bait. bait. Oh, Tyler Bate. Okay. Those British Strong Style guys yeah, are going fast. That would fast. be what I would go to. I love it. Pete Dune versus Drew McIntyre. Ty, you have done very well. Uh, Farnsworth, Thank I'm you. sorry. I meant to say you were on deck. Now you are up. Alex is on deck. So, Farnsworth, um, what you got? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with. Let's take uh, Brock Lesnar, and let's put him in a ring against Samoa Joe and see who survives. Dig it! <coughs> there you go, Lesnar versus Joe. We love that one. Samoa Samoa Joe was in my other pick. See, you're right on the right track. Yeah. All right, Fair Alex. <laughs> Is up. Missy is on deck. I have Missy's picks right here. Oh, you have Missy's pick right there. I have Missy's pick. I can't wait for her person to get taken. All right, Alex, what you got? <laughs> I want to remind right. you, this is a good time for me before Alex makes his pick. Um, no stipulations just yet. That That's comes, literally what I was about to ask That you. comes okay. later. Okay, go ahead, Alex. It's like he knew that I was going to ask. It's like seeing you reminds me of a specific stipulation. <laughs> I, mean, I think the tweet, if it triggers something in me. I think I think the tweet was my road to WLC yeah, earlier. Exactly. So we see all. <laughs> we didn't even know he was going to be on tonight. So he's not even supposed to be here. No. All right, go ahead. Alex. I'm hearing right. all this laughing and talks of stipulation. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Don't oh. worry. That's later down the line. That comes later. When I You're cash home free, my Patreon in the bank. Anyways, all right, I got a simple one because I remember a few days ago he was very specific in tweeting that he was a free agent. So he is a free agent. He is not signed to anywhere. And 
We need to have it because they've they've done it once. They've done it and evolved. It's time to bring it on the grandest stage of them all. So my match is Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z. Okay. All right. Well done. Solid. No, that's a different team. Well done's a different tag team. You're on my list. I'm on your list. All right. Oh, you want to read it? Oh. All right. So this is this is producer this is Missy. Missy Mad Mike. You're on deck. Feverishly working. It's the first on one. Here. It's the first one. Yeah. Those are in the order of availability. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, good good choice by Missy here. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do if we didn't get a women's match here, but thankfully Missy has come through. And Missy wants Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, boy. Mad Mike, you're up. <laughs> Larry's on deck. I can hear him sweating. So. How many of your match ideas have gone into the crap or something? Um, I literally. <laughs> fucking all of them. Right, eating his paper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Four months it. down the drain. <laughs> all right. If we're going in the realm. Two of weeks to retire. They're their free agents. I'm just going to say, fuck it. Ricochet versus Shane Strickland. Whoa. All right. Because I was going to say Ricochet versus Mustafa Ali, but someone wouldn't let me do that, would you, Alex? That was a swerve, wasn't it? (laughs) it? Uh, Swerve, 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 swerve. Larry? Wow. We need just one more match. I'm worth every penny. I'm going to say Kushida versus Leo Rush. Wow. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. Shit! Wait, who versus Leo Rush? Kushida. Kushida. Okay. Jeez. I love it. All right. See how easy that was? Easy and painless. That fucking hurt. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) No one got hurt. No one's feelings got hurt. Everything's great. Let's go Mm -hmm. over the eight matches that we created. Firstly. Wow, I I took an entire match from Tina. Wow, a, that's impressive, Tina, Tina. Now you're now you've learned your lesson. Never wait when we when yep. we invite you on to Mayhem Mania. You say yes right now. Let me in now. You don't wait because by next week your match could be gone. Gone. That's why I wanted to do this week one. Missed the brass ring. Here we go. I just wanted to get on the show. All right, you did I, good, I, time. I wrote mine down a couple months ago. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Um, what was your match? Oh, <laughs> you no. Wrote down. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to happen. <laughs> I, thought the, I, thought the, I thought the oh, no was the tease. I thought you were going to catch his own. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. This match will happen. This is where it That's gets... not a promise. That's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I tweeted earlier today, um. It is. There is a game to be played here. There Some is. people play it. Some people just come on and make matches. This is the easy week for most. This is the easy week. All right. Here's the here's the so eight matches we have yeah. to start with. Uh, first of all, uh, triple threat: Braun Strowman versus Tyler Bate versus Cesaro. Uh, next, we have Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. I think that's our main event right now. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, Pete Dunn versus Drew McIntyre. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Mustafa Ali versus DJ Z. Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss, Ricochet versus Shane Strickland, and Kushida versus Leo Rush. Good start, team. All right, now next week, the real fun begins. That's when we will bring uh, five players on, and they will be given an opportunity to make to each make a single change to this ins- existing card, either removing one match entirely and creating a whole new match, either swapping one person out for another wrestler or perhaps a tag team, or just you know adding a wrestler or a tag team to an existing match, making a four-way, a three-way, something like that. Use your imaginations, like we like to say, but not too much. But use your imaginations, but not too much. Um, so that'll happen next week. And uh, again, a reminder, we'll be talking about all this on Talking Mayhem Mania. Uh, check your Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube feed and find out what match I was going to make, but decided not to because I'm too nice. Sorg? There you go. Go check that out. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Also, thank you, somebody who's... You know what, Alex? You're here. 
Alex, are you here? I am. Oh, good. I am. Can you tell us what's going on with Occupy Pro Wrestling? I'm going to give you the floor for a moment. Sure. Uh, lots of things are happening with Occupy Pro Wrestling. <laughs> do, you mean, do you want me to send you the text? No, no, I got no. So, uh, so the, the ad that we've been running and we'll continue to uh, is uh, back at uh, back in November we had LA Confidential brought to you by Joey Janela, and it was a fun it was a fun show. I got to see my first death match. It was crazy. But Every, unfortunately, everybody remembers their first. Yeah, uh, one of one of my uh, fellow Wham Fam buddies, uh, Marco Stunt, got injured. Uh, thankfully, he's on the road to recovery. Uh, that's the only reason I haven't booked him for Mayhem in yet, is because I don't know if he's actually cleared yet. But I figured, since he and I have, you know, since he and I share love for the 90s Nickelodeon wrestling crossovers, uh, 100% of all proceeds from Occupy Pro Wrestling merch from either the whatamaneuver.net shop or over at shop.occupyprowrestling.com will go to Marco Stunt to help him kind of pay whatever bills he has and, and whatnot. So we got a lot, a lot of good merch to look at, including... Legends of the Lucha Temple, as featured on the season three of Lucha Underground, and and on your on your on your body right now, and on yes, uh, and uh, yeah, the, so again, hundred percent of proceeds from from my merch will go to him. So we got I've got a big uh, revamp of the website coming up as well, uh, and of the podcast been. Working on a few things. One of the things that Marco and I have actually been discussing is essentially doing kind of a uh, a watch through of old '90s Nickelodeon, starting with Rocco's Modern Life. Yes. <laughs> so, a recent design I did called Smarco's Wrestling Life is actually going to live on as a podcast of sorts. Nice. So we'll keep you guys in the loop on that. We're hoping this week or next to to start it up. So, so is it gonna yeah. be, is it gonna be a watch along kind of show? Yeah, the idea is we're gonna the the basic idea is he and I are gonna watch it, kind of talk about it, maybe do a little bit of commentary, mm-hmm. but also be kind of a community thing, kind of you know have people say, hey, we're about to go watch, you know, we're about to go watch a couple episodes of the show, and invite people to watch along with us, kind of go over, kind of uh, respond to people in the chat, stuff like that. So, you know, a nice little community thing as well. So, excellent. Yeah. Your Rusev day is a very dangerous day. <laughs> That's so, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, we're, well, lots of fun stuff coming up in, in the works and hoping to get back to doing the fan interviews that we usually do as well. Excellent. So go check it out, OccupyProWrestling.com. A lot of stuff coming up in 2019. And I see you did do a, 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 a look back at 2018, including a posting our, 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 our podcast we did together while I was in California. By the way, I'll be back for WrestleMania weekend and looking for things to do and people to watch WrestleMania with. So, yes, uh, sir. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll connect on that here. Smartomania, baby. Smartomania. Uh, so it's time of the show that we ask what you learned from wrestling this week. Who wants to go first? I see you, Larry. I learned not to book a mayhem media match six months in advance. Mm. <laughs> Larry. I, lear- <laughs> I learned the macho man didn't die. He just got plastic surgery. It became a cyclops. A cyclops. <laughs> yeah. There's a, it's a, it's so the guy's wearing a cyclops mask, drinking a beer. Doing a Macho Man impression. What was the first thing I said to you? Is that Mad Mike? Yeah, is that Mad Mike? <laughs> yep. So, That's Mad great. Mike, I don't know. I, do you have a Cyclops mask hiding back there? Um, I mean, no, but I can figure something out. Mm. Mm. Um, what about you, Matt? What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that at one point in time, Christopher Daniels had hair. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Hard to believe. Jeez. I want to pull a picture up now. <laughs> Hard to it's believe. Crazy looking. 
He's in the back. I think he's in the background of uh, Beyond the Mat. Mm-hmm. Also with with hair. He's. I think he's doing Hindu squats when um, Mike Modest and Tony Jones are getting ready to go out to do their match. Or like Vince is watching their match on the monitor. Uh, I think Christopher Daniels with hair is in the background doing Hindu squats. Oh no way! This is him. I'm, I'm pulling. I'm trying. To but Vince him. didn't recognize him because he had hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Not like Michael Rosenbaum post Smallville. He does kind of. He's kind of he's been worn from from his time on Smallville at this point here. So nice vest. Nice Stone Cold Steve Austin vest there. Um wow. Ty Cross. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Cross, what did you learn from wrestling this week? That doesn't look um, real. A couple of things. I learned Rhea Ripley's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I because I'm watching NXT UK right now, just because there's so few episodes that I was able to start from the beginning and catch up. Um, so I learned Rhea Ripley's really good. It pretty much the entire roster is loaded. Um, and I also learned that I'm going to be wrestling in a tag team tournament at Rise Wrestling, and uh, System Elite. We're going to try to win that tournament, but that's the other thing I learned is I'm wrestling in a tag team tournament. And I love tournaments. And people should come check that out. That's right. February 2nd, I believe, right? Yeah, I believe that's the first round. And then I think the second and third rounds are in March. But I'm not 100% on that. I think so. I think Um, they are splitting it up like that. Yeah, but that's going to be awesome because tag team wrestling is awesome. Tournaments are awesome and Rise is awesome. So that's what I learned. Awesome. Farnsworth, <laughs> what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, good Lord. I don't know. I mean, I've, I, if being that I'm still catching up on recorded shows, mm-hmm. I would say I've learned that you could put Andrade C and Almas and Rey Mysterio in a spelling bee and I would watch it. That's how. <laughs> yes. <they> yes. <laughs> That's true. I, I, I witnessed a bunch of 60 year old stagehands marking out over that match this weekend i i, I seriously I, like i've just watched them wrestle twice and it was nonstop. amazing the it, fact that that's what they put on tv yeah and because you know that both of these guys know how to hold on to something for a pay-per-view mm-hmm. and so that's their tv match holy holy shit i, mean, I know i mean it's kind of like what i was thinking too like especially when they said they were doing two out of three falls i'm like aren't we saving this for Rain- mania like why are we doing this is that a rumble? What 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 better idea do you have for oh, Ray and Andrade than was, like blow this thing off tonight, at Mania? But, you know, it's well, two tonight. Three tonight. They did it tonight. Yeah. Wow, makes me want to watch SmackDown. That's for sure. Yeah, that's all. It was so the the first match was so good that Andrade lost the rest of his name. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Mysterio knocked the last two words off of Andrade's yeah. name. Yeah. Oh jeez. I was talking to Mark Man about that about whether I whether that works or not. I think it works for some people, but not everybody. The knocking down to one name, like yeah. I think it works for Cesaro, and I think it works for Rusev, but like I don't think it works for Elias. Because I don't know. I don't. I don't. Sorry. I think it's been fine. I, We've heard, I think Elias is going into it. Andrade feels weird. Elias but has it, made it work. Yeah, it shows how is, high is, you've risen in the company. Because once you get rid of the name, then eventually you start going down to just letters, and that's yeah. when you know you made it. And you can't pretend Double that H, Vince isn't paying H, attention to H, him H, anymore now. Because you can't say, well, Vince doesn't even like think about Andrade Cien Almas. Oh, he's thinking about him now. He just hacked two words off of his name. Now you can guarantee that he has Vince's attention. Mm-hmm. He just lost four syllables. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm just surprised they didn't start calling him the new double A. Mm. Hmm. Alex. Uh, my, but the hardest part for me was knowing that Greg Hamilton was not going to be able to introduce him, you know, the way he yeah. does. And yeah. I know that he is sad too because when I tweeted at him. Yeah. He favorited my tweet. <laughs> Greg's having, the man. So. Everybody's, everybody's having good Twitter weeks this week. I had great. I yeah. had a great Twitter week. Alex, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Well, I learned, kind of speaking of the Joey Janela stuff, I learned the GCW, the guys that co-presented Joey Janela's LA Confidential. They're actually coming back to LA in March. Uh, GCW presents To Live and Die in LA on Saturday, March 2nd. Uh, it's Basically in LA again, and they haven't really announced the car, but the tickets are are already on sale, and it looks promising. I 
I haven't decided if I'm going to go to this one yet, but I don't know. When I went to, when I went to the one in November, it was a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, I learned <clears throat> about dream matches that I didn't know I, I wanted. Um, because this past weekend at IWC, uh, we got one of them, John McChesney and Jonathan Gresham. <sighs> that was, that was fun to watch. How, how's Fab look? How's Fab look? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I didn't get to see any of it. I, I uh, know that he's been, he's been on the shelf a little bit. Right, right. Yeah. It, but this is a, the third match that I've, uh, got to shoot and or edit of his. And he's been, I think he's been great. Uh, everything's look good. He, I saw him in a match with, <laughs> John Roden recently in 2PW um, against Wardlow up in Revenge Pro. Mm -hmm. And then this one, and of course, winning the Super Indy Championship for a seventh time. Um, no, it's it was it was a good match. You know how the Gresham matches go, where it's like interesting in-ring kind of uh, psychology, mm -hmm. right? And throwing McChesney in that just, just worked so well. Um, but uh, even, even then, uh, there was somebody else there that I was just like, uh, DJZ, what you know, was on there in a, in a tag okay. match. Yes, thank you. And uh, and and at one point, um, I, I saw I saw him kind of around like McChesney and Gresham, and I didn't know the match for the night was going to be Gresham and McChesney yet, because um, Reloaded. That's kind of how it rolls, right? And I said, right there is at least three f matches I want to see. <laughs> yeah, them. you just got me thinking. I want to yeah. see McChesney and DJZ. Yeah, like I'm sure that's happened in. I'm sure IWC it's before. happened. It has probably happened when he was, you know, Shima Zion, and we couldn't sp spell his name. Um, but you know, <laughs> DJ Z that has been to like Mexico city and around the world, you know, yeah. against John McChesney now, you know, I think is going to be fun. And even in Gresham against any of those guys, it'll be amazing. I'm like, I could give you a whole list against Gresham. I'd love to see. I hope but... Gresham keeps coming around. Cause it seems like he's making a lot of headway in ROH. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, but it's yeah. been awesome to see him live. We'll see what happens in 2019, but either way, I think there's a good. Good stuff happening over there. So I think we got everybody. Let me double check the chat room because I know I wasn't hanging in there for a moment because my phone went to sleep. Sorry about that. Here, guys. I got you. I got you. I got, you, got you. you. What's going on? Alex chat Miller room? says that uh, he learned that Juice Robinson has a new ROH faction. Have you heard about this one, Sorg? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Life Blood. Life Blood? Featuring, yeah. And uh, it's. Uh, oh, anybody want to help me out on that? Yeah. Um, Tanil Dashwood. Uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Bandito. Not who, who I oh, was thinking. Oh, help me. Haskins um, um and uh Finley Finley David that's David what I was Finley. thinking of David Finley yeah sorry I changed. I'm sure someone I was gonna say out. who's its kid but that wasn't gonna help any more than yeah. who's it's what <laughs> was it uh Dave Podner learned that uh apparently we asked for more Vince specifically Vince Bible stories I don't remember asking for that though. there was a lot of Bible stories last <laughs> night that so was strange. really weird and uh Bobby learned that uh Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder are finally back together and they should call themselves the major wrestling figure podcast brothers Yes. I finally got the joke about the Major Wrestling Figure podcast after they reunited. The Major Brothers. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was funny. Very clever. <laughs> so good on them. It wasn't easy to find a Major Brothers picture. I thought it would be a little easier. Lots of Edgehead pictures. Lots of Edgehead pictures. Yeah. yeah. They're going to skip that, Major Brothers. They're back. Better than ever. You think, you think Looking nothing is going to get a win out of this? Mm. <laughs> Don't if, be and silly. And if Hawkins gets a win with Ryder, does that kind of dampen the storyline of him not getting a win? Maybe that is the story: is them like tagging together and Zach doing everything he can to get a win, but Kurt just sucking too much and him not being able to do it. And then finally, maybe they they'll break through. Or, like, or maybe it's uh, they needed each other all along, sort of thing. Because Zach, mm. I think Zach Ryder wasn't on Raw for an entire year, wasn't yeah. on TV. Is that what it was? And then Hawkins hasn't gotten a win in however long, and. Now maybe they come together and get a run. Maybe. Ryder made it on the last Raw of the year. Oh, so, did he get on? Yeah, he, he was in the uh, the Fresh Start Battle Royal. <laughs> mm. well, there you, well, there you go. Close enough, though. <laughs> and lastly, I just learned, because it's been shared to the Wrestling Mayhem show, that Poppy is coming to Pittsburgh on February 9th <laughs> on the Am I a Girl Tour. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is that playing? <laughs> Stage yeah, under and Poppy's coming to New York on the second. I really want to go. Yeah, I Poppy deserves a much more um out of the way venue. How do I put it? <laughs> what? Like what I feel like, like she'd like Burning Poppy Stone? should be playing a dark alley in the South Side, <laughs> not Stage AE, where Elias used to play. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, I yeah. have no idea what 
poppy sounds well, like. Well, well, don't, don't, don't open that. YouTube.com slash poppy. Don't open that. Yes. Don't yeah. go there. Far Go you're, there immediately. I, I feel like watch. you and I are kind of on the oh. same wavelength here. Not, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not what you think it is. It's, That's all I'll say. It's something. Well, I've I seen think ads it's exactly for what you the think show. Are you seeing the ads for the show? I've seen the ads for the stage AE, and that's it. Uh, like am, the Am I a Girl tour, and I'm like, so then you, you should need just, a whole tour for that. You should just buy a ticket. <laughs> is Am I a Girl a song? I think probably. Is that a pop no, song? it's the album. It's the album. It's a question. Because no. it Man. sounds like it would be in a trilogy. It's of Poppy. Songs, what do you not want? A girl, not yet a woman. And I feel like a woman by Shania Twain. Like, that sounds like a trilogy, doesn't it? It sounds like a cola headlining tour. See, if you said that the poppy pop, if you said that the poppy poppy would just say, "What's a trilogy?" It's all just a metaphor. I'm mm. poppy. Sorgi, just one more under the wire. Tina learned that uh, it's a party when the young bucks crash your local Fed because they uh, they showed up in Defy. Whoa! Oh, the the elite they're... are just doing their thing. Yeah, they're saying they're going to crash Bellator. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm ready for that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. They're Maybe they'll crash Poppy. A TV deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, let, let's, crash see, Poppy. let's see if they're ballsy and they crash NXT this weekend. Mm-hmm. That's 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 the they're, you know they're they're making up for not having a TV deal by crashing every indie fed. Yeah, well, look at us. Um, <laughs> it's funny though if they if they crash an NXT, everyone would love it. But when Enzo crashes uh, Survivor Series. Everybody hates the guy. <laughs> but if the Most people hated the guy NXT, already. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's fair. But if the Young Bucks crash in NXT, it'd be the greatest thing that ever happened on the internet. Yeah. Oh, geez. Well, uh, real quick, since the Young have, Bucks super kick Poppy. We NXT. have so many people here. <laughs> Mainstream Matt on the Twitters. 1T. Thank you. 1T. Uh, Larry is uh, found at? Uh, Darkforge Studios. .co. .co. With Instagram and coming soon, actual posts on Twitter. Allegedly. Allegedly. Farnsworth. I'm at what underscore is underscore nuance. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> wow. I hate to break it, but I think I've been following the wrong guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, uh, was, I'm, yeah. A, I'm at Jay Worth on Twitter. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Although, God, I hope you all look up what is nuance. <laughs> oh, man. Mad Mike? Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter and YouTube.com slash poppy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Alex Cars. You can find me at power the number two this marks on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tout, and Poppy Church. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Cross, where can people find you? Of course, Rise Wrestling on February second in Lamont Furnace PA. You're darn right, Sword. Uh, you can also find me at Big Bad Ty Cross on uh twitter and on instagram and i'm on facebook and you can find me in two weeks sitting in front of the tv watching the rams in the super bowl <laughs> because i am the only rams fan that i know oh boy and you can also uh if you want to a- a- answer the question for yourself that we've asked so long on the show on who the hell is ty cross uh you can look up him and system elite over at indie wrestling.us and indie wrestling.network for matches as well so and uh coming up in the in the future weeks here we do have marcus man coming on in two weeks i believe that's february 5th uh always interesting to see his input into mayhem mania and whatever he can book a match i bet he can book a match or two mm-hmm. um maybe <laughs> we should give him two moves for, just just for being him just for being him Okay. One's going to involve John Cena. You know that. Bro. Uh, oh, but he's injured. Oh, what's he's he going to do? He's injured. Oh, that's no. The that's the he can John Cena. That's what hurts so bad. Oh, please. Ba, ba, da, right. ba. If, if John Cena doesn't show up as number 29 in the ba, ball, ba, da, ba. <laughs> Don't, and Nobody tell Lunchbox. He won't be there. He doesn't believe in wrestling anymore. Um, and also, <laughs> uh, next week, we are scheduled to have the uh, newest Fight Society champion, Beast man with us in the show as well. So be careful. Be, be careful. Keep, keep the door prop. He's going to eat the whiteboard, isn't he? I think he's going to visit, visit Slice on Broadway again. So I have a present for you next week, by the way, Matt. Oh, great. Oh, Can't wait. The threats are coming. <laughs> Jeez. Put away anything glass because is he it is one like half a of the smoking the guns? Shop. No, it's a whiteboard on, a, uh, on an easel. Oh, really? Oh, man. Has it been forged? In your dark studio? Yes. Oh. I, got, I got it at a liquidation sale. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. <laughs> Forced in your dark Dad studio? Gummit. I can barely contain my excitement. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, producer Missy, for putting up with all this. Thank you, chat room. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. Wait, wait, just wait.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.